reteach everything. It's that simple, man. They either the they either the uh the apostles or they not. They doctrine the writer was not, man. A right, quick precept. It's first Corinthians fourteen and twenty. It says, Brethren, be not children in understanding. Howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. <laughs> and 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 being a man of understanding, knowing that the goddamn earth ain't flat, man. A man of understanding will read and can see what Yahweh Shah said to that bitch by the well, man. Having a man of understanding can see the curse where it says in Deuteronomy 28, Thou and thy king shall go into captivity. What about in Maccabees when it said uh, 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 the, the, uh, the men got together, the righteous men got together and said we shall uh, be the same partakers of, 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 of them? All right, what's my sound on thing? You, uh, come. It's a lot. Go ahead, bro. You got some? Yeah. No, no, you back in uh, Timothy. You back in Timothy? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I got to push that real quick. This is Rock 34 now. <laughs> um, a man that has traveled knoweth many things, he that has much experience would declare wisdom. He that hath no experience knoweth little, but he that had traveled is full of prudence. So he that have no experience knows little, man. It says with all that getting, get understanding. Yep. So you can get a lot of knowledge and stuff, but lack understanding. Hey, knowledge is knowledge is knowing that a tomato was a fruit. Wisdom is knowing that a tomato don't go in a fruit salad, man. Okay? That's that discernment. And uh, uh, having your sisters exercise what the elders got, man. And we need them to lead and teach us the, the, the ropes, man. To look out for our souls. <clears throat> so, First Timothy, uh, Second Timothy three and uh, you read five again. And five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Mm -hmm. From such turn away. From such turn away, man. Go ahead. Verse six, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins. Led away with diverse lusts, even learning, ever, ever learning, and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So all this learning that you guys be doing, man, right? All that deep shit about nothing, man. <clears throat> Go ahead. Now, as as Janus, as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, which was the two fucking uh, uh Hamites. Yep. So do these also resist the truth. And, and and you niggas got the spirits of the Hamites, man. Hey, and they were magicians. And guess what? The sin, uh, sin disobedience is as witchcraft. That's right. So right now, this this video that's on this TV screen to my left, that's actually uh, witchcraft, man. Because you put out a spirit of disobedience toward the, the elders, man. Right, yep. Towards your fathers. And really, the fact you called them your father and you, you called them wicked and... You get to the point you show no no respect. It's going from corn to Sirach three because it tells you if your father uh, uh, slips in his understanding, basically to still bear with him. Have patience with him. Right. That's saying and that's exactly what the elders do to the to the, the apostles do to their elders. Uh, they they for one when they was in one west when they was going on, they didn't disrespect their elders, man. They dealt with the shit that was going on around them. The way supposed to, like in Peter's, it tells you to be uh, the gentle and the forward. And what what good is it to take your punishment when you do wrong? What's good in the eyes of the Lord is to take your punishment when you're doing right and you get punished, man. Right. And that's uh, that's the that's a hard thing with Jake, man. To take that punishment when you really didn't do nothing wrong according to what's being punished to you. Because you're getting punished, you did something wrong. Right. The Lord will let you just go through nothing for no reason. You know. But it may not be what the actual cause that was brought up on you is. Exactly. So you got to suffer through that shit, man. And you still respect them, man, that's above you. Like, to this day, the elders respect Ariel, man. And that's the example they set for us. That shows you how they stay in line with the scriptures even to that point. Where they look at him as a father that slipped in his understanding. They still mm -hmm. bear with them. Even when you said, uh, to go back to the they elders back in uh, one west. You know, a lot of them niggas was wicked. That goes back to uh, uh, King David. King David didn't do nothing against Saul. No. Nope. The Lord delivered into the King David's hand, and he still didn't slay him, man. 
Mm -hmm. Romans 15 and 4, the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning, man. Through knowledge and patience of the scriptures, we might have hope, man. Hey, the Lord set order up and you must abide by it. Paul repented when he found out that the high priest that he snapped on was the high priest. See, because he, oh shit, that's against the law. I didn't know that was the high priest, man. And Paul got slapped for no reason. He got smoked. The high priest told them to smoke, smite him, so he got smoked. And Paul and Paul snapped, and then they told him to have a priest. Oh shit! I didn't know. So he said, "Slack you, basically, man." Man, <laughs> you, you gotta have fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And, and it's an order with everything, man. He set the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set them men up, man. You know what I'm saying? Set them men to be up over you in the spirit, uh, over you. It, 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 definitely, at least right now here. Right now, you know what I'm saying? At the very least, you know what I'm saying? That, that's showing no fear, man. That's showing no fear, and that's scary, man. Go ahead, man. I bring out this uh, precept, since you mentioned the, um, this is uh, basically the spirit of Korah coming back again and shit. It's uh, number 16 and 1. Now Korah, the sons of Izar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan, and Abiram, the son of Eliab, and An, the son of Pelet, the son of Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Moses with certain of the children of Israel, 250 princes of the assembly, uh, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and spake, uh, and, and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing, seeing all the congregation are holy. Every one of them, and Yahweh is among them. Same penny, man. Same penny. Yep. I was gonna say, hey, look at it. Look at it today. You niggas, Sakari, now this guy, other guys. That's y'all, man. Coming against Moses. Who's sitting in Moses' seat right now, man? Don't worry. I'll wait. Go ahead. Huh? You can't say that because then they gonna scoff. <laughs> the how y'all shot scoff about the Pharisees sitting in Moses' seat, man. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to be in that seat and, and face the facts, man. They, uh, the apostle starting with Apostle Har is sitting in Moses' seat, right and rightfully so. That's the way the Lord set it up. Again, who if that's if that's not the case, who is this whole time? Because you you admitted this is the last hour. Who this whole time has been a laborer that has been laboring the whole time? That's been your teachers, as the prophecy said. Hey, you said your own mouth. All the prophecies got to come to pass. So who was your teachers that was not back into the corner? Who was that? <laughs> so, Nate, so, so. Is it Nate? <laughs> <laughs> hey, niggas kill me, man. So once, so, so once you get suspended or kicked out, now all of a sudden your elders ain't, the Lord ain't dealing with your teachers that taught you no more. Now you the man. That's so, so, you don't, so you the only righteous man now. Who, 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 who else? So it's only three of y'all. Where's the, where's we've the been rest in America of the for a long time, <laughs> yeah. waiting on them to build it back up. We're a whole wow. other camp, nine and left. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, Shit. really? You're not, you're not taking advantage of what uh, the the work that the elders did for us already, man. They already cut seventy five percent of the field. Yeah. All you got to do is come in and just get in, and get into the basically. They get they they already figure out the rhythm. So it's like they figure out the shortcuts how to do this shit. They got the rhythm going. So we gonna we we already have them on this side. All you gotta do is work coming back towards us, and we'll have it done in no time. That's all you gotta do to finish the field. You know, you wanna go, you wanna go horizontal and fuck it all up, making it work harder. You working against the grain instead of with it, man. You wanna go start on the back of the back of the house, ain't even finish the front. You wanna go do the neighbors the neighbors yard and shit. That ain't got nothing to do with with it. Not, nothing to do with salvation. That's the neighbors yard. A doctrine ain't got shit to do with the fucking salvation, man. Ain't gonna get no penny for it. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like what the fuck? Gonna get destruction for it. And because because the elders did all the hard work, man. They hey they got because you know when you cut a you uh, a fucking lot just grew up grew you know what I'm saying and it been unkept. Kay. It's all kind of sticks and rocks Kay. and all kind of shit over there. The elders then did all that, man. So now all you gotta do you got the more and that's all you do is just going across it. That's all we doing now. The elders then clinked a lot. They didn't got all the rocks out, the sticks, the fucking uh, uh, broke down cars, the hubcaps. They got all that shit out the way. 
Now all we doing is got the line more and because mm, they didn't have the internet back then, man. They had to labor through through numerous books, man. You know, it's real easy for for me now. I can type it, what that mean. Oh, got it. Oh. What's that scripture? Oh, blue letter. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh. Watch the elders. Also, oh, the blue letter went off on that. Oh, good, cool, easy, man. Yeah, plus that's an unfair scale too, man. If the, if the elders was using the sickle all their fucking life, and then we learned to use the lawnmower, cause they taught us, fucking not cause you're running fast and shit, you're better than the elders and shit. That don't make no sense, man. Right? They couldn't. They couldn't use in the sickle like you said. We got a lawnmower, but we it makes us better than them though. Exactly. Nah, man. You know what? That uh, and that type of spirit is the reason why they they die. Cause you know wolf. I think it's the wolf pack, right? What's the wolves? The elders walk in front to set the pace of everybody else. And you got those in the middle that that's mighty, and then you got the even more mightier ones. They stay further back. The mightier ones are the furthest in the back of the pack, while the elders are in front to set the pace of how things go. That alone shows you order. Hey, the scriptures say look at certain animals for things. That alone shows you the order, man. Hey, look at the ant. Like yeah. the scriptures say, you look at. You got worker ants that go out and do the work. You got the uh, the fighter ants that fight and shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything. The Lord is all about order, man. That wolf thing is, is, is a big thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't know about that wolf shit. That shit just wolf. Yeah, when they, Rom they Roman, they, they had the older ones in front. And they set the pace. And, you know, they wise. They know certain shit. They know the terrain better. They came with maneuver. They came maneuver they got, better. They got the experience. experience. So they in front. They set the pace. They know where they're going. They got everything down packed. Then you got, of course, the middle, the middle, the middle of the flock, and you got uh, the second class strongest, second tier strongest in the middle, right there. And you got the strongest, the best in the back. So the chief, of, the chief of being the back, because they can get to the front quickly to help out. They right there. The greater thou art, the more thou humbles mm -hmm. thyself. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Damn. Though. It says, uh, <clears throat> uh, ye take too much upon yourself, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and Yahweh is among them. <laughs> equal? Right. Equal, they, they equal with most. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's right there. Uh, that's in the law, right? Yeah. Yep. And just like you said, uh, things that are written in four time are written for our learning, right? Yep. <clears throat> We bring this first uh, Timothy two and uh, five. It says, "And if a man also strive for the master masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully." Mm. Hey, that's crazy. So damn, that's the that right there is 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 something in the law, and it's it's more in the law about the, the whole thing of order. You know what I'm saying? And if you not going according to the law as well, and knowing that there's men over you that you, now you, you, oh, it's a wicked father because uh, you better than your father now. Uh, babes have equal understanding uh, as the men of many years. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all on the same plateau. Y'all, you know, equal with the elders. But then, what about this? This is the law. You going against what the law said? Uh, it says, and if a man also strive for the masteries, so you out there, you know, uh, so-called teaching, you know what I'm saying, doing the same thing every week in and week out, you know, doing sit-downs, whatever the case may be, yet he is not crowned, but you don't make it on one of them ships. Why? Because you didn't strive lawfully. You didn't compete lawfully you didn't do that work and do it in in how it was supposed to be you know it, it says every idle word man we gonna be held for that man uh -huh. you know and then how you how you think if you think that you on that level man why like well you 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 want to abase yourself now you know what i'm saying then uh um uh, I mean, not a base, but you want to uh, exalt yourself now, then you, you'll be a base, man. You know what I'm saying? It's scary, man. Hey, Con, because order is very important with the Lord to the point 
like I already mentioned, the Paul, the, the, I have, the wicked have priests, the actual wicked, even the wicked of the Pharisees and Sadducees, how Sha told the disciples, do as they say, not as they do. Yep. You know, so even still, he told them to listen to these wicked men because they got that position, which the elders are definitely, the apostles and the elders are definitely not wicked men. But the fact of the matter is, even those that was wicked, Yahweh Shai and Yahweh put in the law, which the whole book is the law, to still uh, obey what was being told to them because they had that position. Because they sat in Moses' seat. It says, uh, Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above, above the congregation of Yahweh. You know? And if I can make a comment on this, man, that's basically what y'all brothers are saying, man. Yeah. You're saying that... Uh, that the apostles are lifting themselves up, and that they, you know, that they're they're doing like so so called mechanisms to try to stop you guys from learning, so that you can never be above them or some shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, the Lord the Lord put them in that position, man. So, shit. <laughs> that's yeah. not what the apostles is trying to do, man. Yeah, I got proof of you, brother. Yeah. This is uh, First Thessalonians. 5 and 12 it says and we beseech you brethren to know them which labor among you and are over you mm -hmm. in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake now didn't you say hey, some labored for many years and can't be denied you say that out your own mouth nigga and now I'm calling you a nigga because now I'm getting fucking mad, man. And be at peace among yourselves, man. You, uh, For the work's sake. The, that labor alone earned them, that, that should have earned them enough respect from a lot of, of various fucking people that was supposed to be uh, at one point under GMS, man. Mm -hmm. and, and respect enough to, if you think that you got a, 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 a different, a, a, a breakdown or a you know, different layer to a certain particular scripture, you know what I'm saying, to get it vetted, man. To, because, hey, you like I say, you, you may be right in what, whatever it is. It may be wrong, you know. Uh, kind of because at one point, when it first came to the truth, they accepted that the apostles were teaching the truth. So now if you got a new revelations, but you don't think they had the understanding and the spirit to discern through that. Exactly. And to find out if it's true and shit. That's it. That's all. That's all you do. Uh, this is 1 John 4 and 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the Most High. Because many false prophets are gone out unto the world. So, here it is. It could have been the spirit, you know what I'm saying, that came to you and gave you a breakdown about something else, but then it could have been a demon. It could have been another spirit that wasn't of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and obviously the cock crew on that particular uh, not, you know what I'm saying, the spirit of the Most High. So obviously whatever breakdown that you thought you knew or came up with or had, it was wrong. It was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Obviously it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's good that you're going through the scriptures and you know what I'm saying, you try to try, it was well, well, trying to be diligent or whatever, but nah, you didn't fucked up. Right. He gonna scoff. See, it's like the elders saying, "Dog, don't don't keep reading. Slow down and reading." Like, like they want to stop you from growing. Come the fuck on. They snap on brothers for not growing, man. Right. Yeah. Right. Don't get all petty and butt hurt now, man. Cause one, you only have to be suspended. If you were to humble down, that suspension could have changed quickly from six months. It could have been lowered instantly, man. Yeah. You could humble down, went and did what you had to do. Low key, the spirit could have, cause it's all <laughs> spiritual. Yeah, how about you shot could have put a spirit of mercy on the apostles and you could have been back in by Passover, man. Cut. You never fucking know. Cut. And now you won't know, man, because now you're, clearly y'all tweaking. And it's always time to repent, you know. It's always time to repent. As long as you don't blaspheme the Holy Ghost. But shit. You better do it while Lord Hannah stretched out still. It's lucky. Go ahead, Yaki. My bad. Uh, no, I mean, basically, that, that was it on that scripture, man. But, you know, Hey, you you vet it through it to to see if it's the spirit of the Most High or another spirit. You know what I'm saying? Vet it through the proper channels, man. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Vet it through your elders. 
I can finish this right here in number 16. It's um, number 16 and 4. And when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face. And he spake unto Korah and unto his company, saying, Even tomorrow Yahweh will show who are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even him who he has chosen will he cause to come near unto him. <laughs> man, shit. The apostles' track record speaks for itself, man. The Yahweh Hashem is dealing with them, man. And that's who he chose, man. And that's who we follow, man. It's really that simple, man. Go ahead, because you, because you know it was niggas that that, that bucked up against uh, uh, Peter and the rest of the uh, apostles, man. You know it was, man. Well, he gave he gave an example in that Timothy three. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He's talking about it. Yeah, yeah you want to keep reading there. Uh, what the Timothy? Yeah. Another you? thing oh, about so like I want to make a quick point uh, about the penny thing, because that shows not about the knowledge is the fact that the parable of the talents. The parable of the talents is about actually having uh, uh, different gifts in the spirit and different levels of knowledge in this truth. That's that's different. It, some had it was one with ten, one with five. The Lord gave various brothers different talents, different amount of uh, uh, gifts and spiritual knowledge. So that's so it's not the one penny. That one penny is the reward, man. Yep. That penny is your payment. All right. Yep. Which ultimately it's talking about salvation, man. We all gonna receive that salvation. We all gonna receive that download to where well, we can't go off in the kingdom. Okay? We all gonna receive the reward to miss the second death. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Ratazah. Mm -hmm. Which is Yahweh in the name Yahweh Shai willing. Or uh, his pleasure. Ratazah. Okay? Th that's that penny we hoping to receive, man. That's the labors we entered in and, and agreed to do. Yep. To receive that reward. That's what it means when it says that they are equal. Right. It's like a token when you're going on the train and shit. It's just it's just the way to get in, man. Same right. Thing. That's your way to get in. That's right, brother. Come. Keep going right here. Second Timothy. Second Timothy three and eight. And now as Janus and Jambrius withstood Moses, so do do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate Concerning the faith. Which is y'all right now, man. Like the brother said, but hey, it's time to repent, man. Go ahead. <clears throat> but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. As, as yours is now. Go ahead. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, Prosecutions, afflictions, which come unto me at Antioch, at Iconium. I, Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered. And you can say the same about the apostles, uh, starting with, let's say the nine eleven shit. They got a, they got yeah. arrested and dealt with because of that shit. They still go out there and labor. Hell, they and they labor through a lot of shit from then and now. Bivens. Uh, 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 Elder Bivens labored to the point where they they killed his ass. You know the fucking filthy ass Muslims killed him. Mm -hmm. So you can see the labors of the elders went with the headaches they went with. Moses wanted to get put to death. He asked the Lord to kill him. So you can only imagine how the apostles the apostles feel dealing with Jake, man. Hey, I, I'm I ain't got really no rank here in this camp, and I get fucking headaches with certain brothers, man, younger brothers. So I can only imagine how I feel for hell the, the elders in my camp. And especially the, the head of the whole, the whole thing, man. Shit, nah. <laughs> you bugged out, man. You know 